All right, so you've gotten to a new unit or you've busted into a container or found this storage room that nobody's been in and God knows how long. And then you find this plethora of parts and these are parts that are either still good and serviceable or they're parts that need to be turned in because you can't just throw them into the trash, you can't throw them in the scrap metal bin, they have to be turned in to the army system for whatever reason. This video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to be using MyGo, and we're going to be labeling it as a FOI, so that is found on installation. Regardless of how long you've had this piece of equipment, and maybe it got purged off, whatever it might be, because sometimes we use purging as a way to clean up things that we otherwise should not be doing. But it's a fairly easy process. The only thing that I've noticed, it the only personnel that can do this are maintenance managers or access administrators. So if you are an ERPS clerk or a maintenance supervisor, you will not be able to do this. All right, guys, for this one, we're going to go through my go. Mike, India, golf, O is an Oscar, not zero, O. I get that mixed up too sometimes. So when it comes up, it should come up looking like this where you have a good receipt and then the R10 is other. Uh, you want to leave those if they do not come up like this you want to change them to this and then your receipt is going to be a 501 make sure that this is at 501 and then once you get to that point you're going to click on the enter and that will change all of this stuff down here so we'll change let me change this and i'll show you what i'm talking about As you can see it grayed this out and then it told me down here that that is not an operation for this but this will typically be blank if you do not have the right one so we're going to put 501 back in hit enter we'll close that out and then it brings it up so now we want to we want to add something that is foi and we just found so we're going to choose this I'm using this because it's something that I just something I'm familiar with and you're gonna put in the quantity and then here you're gonna put in the plant where you're planning on putting this part where you want to what which mat sit you want to add it to and then down here for reason for movement you're gonna click on it and you can choose from the options but found on installation so foi now this is if you have something excess you need to absorb and maybe you want to uh, turn it in so we're going to hit enter and then it gives us a couple of more tabs here so you have partner and then batch now in the event that this is like a transmission or engine it does register what that part is and it does know whether it does or does not have a serial number if it does it will give you another tab out here to the right that says serial number and at that point you will need to put in that serial number so for the batch you need to put in your classification so classification you have all these different ones so if this part is a serviceable part still in this box nothing wrong with it and there's no shelf life for it it basically gives you an explanation for everything so we're going to choose alpha as you can see it chose everything for us it added it and then we're going to back out and at this point you can check it to make sure everything is everything is good and then the document is okay and then you post those goods to it and at that point we have consumed that part and added it to our mat sit. All right, so you can see there's a few different steps. Uh, you do need to pay very close attention to make sure that you have checked all these certain areas, like especially at the top, you need to make sure that you have uh, chosen post goods receipt, um, that it is other, and that you have chosen 501. Um, if you do not do this, it will give you all kinds of errors and you just be scratching your head trying to figure out what's going on. I did that earlier because my go is a very diverse and useful tool for a lot of different things. Uh, you will see that in another video. So just make sure that you're paying attention to it. Don't get caught up in going back in and doing the same thing over and over again. If you're using another Tika or another version 
uh, of process and parts within MyGo. So hopefully this helps you out and gets you where you need to go within your mat sit, within your unit, and cleaning up your, your AO. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, always uh, you can always you can always hit the, the thumbs down. Just make sure you hit it twice so that it works. You don't have any problems with that. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, or maybe you want to add your two cents, and uh, maybe there's something I missed and you want to add it in, please go down to the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Let's keep growing this community, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.